little bit of change in the weather. It's uh, snowing. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, but trying to make the best of it and get some work done here. Going to try to build a small addition to the coop here for the girls. Um, if you see this green plastic netting, I'm just going to make it the same height as the square part of the regular coop and uh, just extend it out about six feet just to make a, a little bit more space for them, especially when we're gone several days at a time. Um, gonna look into getting a automatic uh, door as well that'll let them out into the garden area which desperately needs to be cleaned up once we get some warmer weather but uh, you can see they're a little upset with me right now because their new little sister Coco is locked in here I'm trying to get her a little bit warm a little cold compared to what she's used to but she's a copper Moran's hiding in here and she will lay a chocolate um, colored egg hence the name Coco but uh, big sisters are not exactly appreciative of their new visitor we're going on just past two weeks and they still haven't really warmed up to her so hopefully once I have the oh geez, hopefully once I have the addition on I can separate them a little bit and allow us to go away for you know an evening or two without worrying about having to separate them. Um, Coco though, we got her at a local farm um, in uh, New Jersey, Princeton Lavender Farm. We will uh, actually bring her inside still. We've been bringing her in at nights, getting her used to the uh, colder weather. She's going to need a little bit of time to adjust. And the next couple nights, or next three nights, are supposed to be 20 degrees. So we'll bring her in until that passes, and then uh, start to transition her to the uh, coop out here. She's been doing better with the girls. She's been in the uh, opener area, and uh, the girls still chase her when they get close. But uh, it's not relentless like it was for the first few days. So we're getting there. Yep, big meanies, you girls. Big, big meanies. All right, back to building. All right, starting with the first sidewall, just using uh, pressure treated, um, I guess they're what, one and a half by one and a half, and uh, gonna make the two walls to get ready to put together. Okay, first sidewall ready to be nailed together. I'm just gonna use 18 gauge, inch and a half brad nails to put these guys together. All right, one wall done. Let's go take a look at how it looks. Okay, got the two walls made and the door that will go on one of the walls. And quite frankly, it's just too freaking cold out here. So we're gonna take a break for today. Start it up another day. Okay, we've moved into the greenhouse, warm up a little bit, and we are going to play with this new Wi-Fi enabled thermometer I got. Uh, Govee Wi-Fi thermometer, link is in the description below. And we're going to try to set this up so that I can monitor the temperature in the greenhouse from wherever I am. Let's see what it's uh, got in here. I'm going to need both hands. Give me one second. All right, let's go ahead and open this box up. I have not used one of these before. It's uh, not supposed to need a hub. So let's see. A little hanging cord to hang it by. This is really difficult to do one-handed. There we go. Let me get this cover off. Okay, so all it is is this little, I'll call it a dongle. Not much to it. Comes with batteries, it's the blue tapes for it to enable the batteries. And let me go ahead and set it up. All right, I don't have a great place to put it in the shade, unfortunately, but we're going to put it right there and let's see what it does. Okay, so here is the app. Um, it is called, uh, I think they just call it Home. Um, so you would be, it would be Govee, G-O-V-E-E, -E, Home. And it uh, shows the temperature in here, 71.4 degrees, which is pretty close to what my uh, thermometer is saying. And I know you can set the alerts as well in here. Let's see if I can find where to do that. 
There we go. And temperature alarm. So I want to know when the temperature in here gets above, let's say, 95. Um, my guess is the sun is going to hit it and probably cause that to happen, but we'll try it. And I want to know if it gets down below, uh, let's say, 50. Alert me. Humidity, I don't really care so much about. Oh, you can calibrate the temperature. Uh, it exports the data to be saved. And I think that's about it. Okay, we'll give this a try. Um, don't see a save button, so hopefully I just exit. And, oh, neat, it shows me every 10 minutes kind of what the temperature has been. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little uh, device. We'll see how it works here. Um, I really just want to use it in the greenhouse to let me know if the temperature gets real low. And then we'll probably use it a little bit for uh, Fisher as well. Uh, when we, you know, leave him at home and things like that, so we can just monitor the temperature, make sure he's not getting too cold, too hot. So that's about it today. Beautiful 70 degrees here in the greenhouse compared to outside. Has stopped snowing, but it is uh, very windy and still extremely cool out. But the greenhouse is going well, and you can see the figs are starting to leaf out in here, finally. Got that guy there. And you can see a couple brabus forming here. So it's, uh, it's getting to be that time where figs will become my main focus. Genevieve Snero. I think I have a couple of other figs in here. I'm trying to remember what these are. This is a uh, Bordeaux Negra Ramada. Uh, just beginning to leaf out at the bottom and up top here. I did want to try leaving some of these in the greenhouse this year to see how they did. Um, probably not as well as the garage, but actually, you know, I think everything looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, I'm trying to remember what fig this is. This is a, oh, Black Madeira, okay. So Black Madeira for me tends to form in the greenhouse only, Brabas. Uh, they will drop in here. Outside, they don't form any Brabas for me. Uh, it's sort of weird. The greenhouse, if you're going to grow Brabas, I don't know if it's the extra humidity or what, but the greenhouse really performs well when it comes to Brabas. Um, I think outside they tend to get hit by frost a little bit late here and just not do well in general. But yeah, that's about it for me, and uh, hopefully everybody is staying warm and getting ready for spring. I'm PA Figs. Talk to everyone later. Good morning, everybody. It is 23 degrees. We had a low, I think, of 19 last night. And I just wanted to show you the temperature reading in the greenhouse today. So it is currently 50.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I click on this, it will actually show me what the temperature got down to last night. And uh, I've got the heater pumping in there, but it's just not keeping up when it gets down to below 20. I try to keep it above 50, and you can see the blue line there, uh, dotted line, shows uh, 50 degrees. And you can see it got down eh, about 45 degrees last night, which is definitely cooler than I would like it to be. Um, I'm waiting for the sun to warm up the greenhouse a little bit today so I can go and check it out and see how the plants fared. Um, it will definitely slow growth. I'm hoping it didn't kill anything. Uh, we'll see how the items closest to the panel walls did. They're the ones that I'm probably a little bit more worried about, but we will see.